Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video today's video We are going to be building a brand new Fortnite save the world storm base. Here's the one we are going to be building However, before this video begins, I would like to give a shout out to FX sacrifice if you want a shout out All you got to do is like the video turn on post notifications and comment down below Anyways guys before this video begins. I just want to mention one quick thing and that is I recorded this live while building it so basically I make a few mistakes while building it it's because it's all brand new to me so I go back and change it so I'd watch this all the way through before trying to attempt to recreate it if you do want to recreate it also I forgot that I do need to mention uh, I recorded this and it took a really long time so I'm probably gonna be splitting this into two parts so if you want to see the second part make sure you let me know down in the comments below drop a like if you did enjoy this and let's jump straight into the video Alright guys, so to start this off, basically what I did is I cleared out all of the trees and rocks everywhere in here so I could just have an open space to build with and I got rid of basically everything around my storm shield. Um, I might work on my amplifiers later, but to start it, I'm going to build a box around this. And now that that's done, it's just a simple big box around the square. I mean, pretty simple there. I'm gonna finish off boxing it in. I might build a floor, I don't know, but I think I'm just gonna put the roof on right now and just completely box this in just to get a basic shape for the building. All right, I've finished that and uh, I'll back off here just to show you kind of what it looks like and it just is a, uh, a big box so I'm just gonna plop a door in here real quick and then uh, <laughs> yep that's it all right now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna put some angled um, I'm not really sure what arches here to make it look like it's kind of leaning towards the middle one yeah and uh, I'll just kind of show you what it looks like um, I think this is a really nice design it kind of is open as well um, I think what I'm gonna do is I try to make this more circular so I'm gonna go ahead and outtrude this a little bit and add a little three block space in here just to make it kind of pop and then I'll put arches in here as a well facing them and do the same thing as I just did to the front right here make this a uh, arch and then these one angled arches so it's kind of the same thing and I might go back and change the inside ones to actual walls, but we'll see. I'm just going to go ahead and finish all the, the circles right now. Alright, we are done with that. I'll show you what it kind of looks like overall. Just a big circle. Um, now we're going to go ahead and build the towers for these things. I already pre-built a tower to kind of, so I kind of know what I want it to look like. And it's kind of be two stories. So we're going to start with the base here. And it's just going to be uh, one walls like that. Now uh, I'm going to add the arches on top of it because I might make this building two stories. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I think I want it to be two stories, so I'm going to build this tower extra tall, just in case. And uh, that's the tower back there I'm kind of copying off of that I pre-built, just so I know what it would look like. Now let's go ahead and pop the flats up there as well. Alright, now on top we have to match the roof here. And I can't remember if I need these to be angled out or in these slanted walls right here. I think it's out, but uh, I'm gonna build this real quick and see if that works. But if not, then we're gonna have to change them around. And then just put a pyramid in each of the four corners. All right, so we want the pyramids to be angled like this and so it appears that it does need to be angled inwards so I do have these backwards so I'm just gonna put that down and fix all of these and re-angle them <laughs> 
All right, now that we have them all re-angled, we can do this correctly. We can make our, okay, well, we can make our uh, pyramids look like this. And I just, can I get back up there? Okay, I'm gonna have to edit myself back in here real quick. But uh, basically we want the walls looking like this or the roof looking like that on all four corners. So basically it's gonna look something like this. You will see, and then the last part is we're just gonna make this a circle, this uh, the flat floor right here, and it's gonna wrap all the way around. So let's jump up there, and we can barely reach him from here, but uh, yeah. So it's basically each tower is gonna look like this, and I'm thinking of having somewhere to between four and six towers, depending on what works with this build. I'm not exactly sure yet. All right, so there is the look of the tower, and we're gonna build a couple of those in the base. And I do think that looks pretty nice. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put a second floor because I know I'm gonna want one, so let me just get a few pieces placed down. All right, we're just, uh, I'm not sure how I want this. I think I'm gonna build it a little bit smaller, so it's kind of like going inwards the base. It's not gonna be the exact same size. So let's just go ahead and get a few more placed here. All right, so that's somewhat as the second floor is gonna look like. I think that's gonna look really well, especially when we get walls in there and kind of match the design from the lower part. However, yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just build the next tower here um, in case you didn't really completely understand how I did it. So that's the base piece as we put on the last one before. The towers are probably the most complicated part of this build. They're not super hard, obviously, as you can see me building them, but uh, they're a little bit more difficult than most of it, I would say. So there we go, we have the second base piece, and it looks like that was actually supposed to be an arch, so let me go ahead and fix these arches. All right, okay, now they're back to arches, so we can just go ahead and build the rest of it. And if you couldn't tell, I'm gonna probably build all these in the corners. All these towers is what I mean. Now we need to do the angled walls right here on top of the four corners um, to make it, you know, symmetrical to the other tower there. And this will be able to hold up these uh, pyramids. You, you need these to hold up the pyramids, unfortunately, unless you, you can remove them afterwards, honestly, but I like the look of them. So I'm gonna do it like that. And lastly, now we just have to do uh, the circle part right here, which is really easy. So now we have it done, two towers have been built and it's kind of taking shape, at least it's looking pretty nice so far, I think. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of this and so basically it's like a smaller circle up here. I'm gonna leave a hole there so I can jump up and down. And I'm gonna go ahead and build the last few towers here and just skip through this because you already know how to do it. All right, there we go. We have the four towers built. Each are symmetrical um, in the same spots. I'll be over there, so if you're a little confused um, how I did it. But also, real quick, I think I'm gonna change this to walls, as I said earlier, just because I th think it's too open right now and um, we need to close off some of this. So we'll just change all of the walls real quick. Yeah, that definitely does look nicer, actually. I just want a little quick glance. All right, now it's all walls, not too much has changed. I mean, it just looks the same from the front anyways. But uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and put some walls in up here to match the lower floor. So let's just go ahead and wrap walls around. And it doesn't look like we can put them right now where the towers are. And it looks like I forgot actually the bases for these towers over here. Yeah, so those are right there, so I definitely did get them over in the other sides, but uh, we'll add them in. And this looks a little weird, so I think I might just make that arch, yeah. I think an arch will connect a little bit better, so let me just go ahead and do that all the way around and make those into arches as well. Alright, now that is done, we're going to go ahead and put this. This is on the front wall, so we're just doing the exact same design. Whoops, this needs to be an angled in arch. Oops, that's how you do it. So it's gonna be pretty much like the lower one. And then of course that has to connect like that as we're trying to uh, match the top and the bottom floor. 
So let's just keep angling all these in. It's really simple, basically what we did on the bottom floor here. And can I edit this? Okay. Well, anyways, it finally let me edit it. And that is what it looks like now, as you kind of can see. I'll do a little platform. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end this right here. This is just the first part of the tutorial. If you want to see the second part, make sure you drop a like and leave a comment as well. So we just have a little bit more to do. And I hope you enjoyed. Peace. <laughs>